Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Stewart. Thank you very much. Uh, our next award is the Creative Achievement Award. And here are the, some of the past winners who were honored for their uh, numerous achievements. I think these are the past winners or uh, an invitation to a very powerful Seder. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm not presenting the award. I'm, I'm presenting the presenter of the award, which is, I guess, unnecessary. But uh, <laughs> as we say in the porn industry, I'm kind of the fluffer to the fluffer. So uh, <laughs> thank you. Little Boogie Nights reference. Steve Harvey wrote that. Um, <laughs> thank you. I got nothing. Uh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I met Jack Nicholson? Uh, I was sitting behind Jenna Elfman at a Lakers game. And, uh, to, uh, yes. Thank you. They can sweeten that. Um, <laughs> to present this year's award, uh, it is truly a pleasure and an honor to introduce one of the funniest people ever invented, a strange man, the minister of strange, Mr. John Cleese. <laughs> Good evening. I am delighted to be here to pay homage to a chap who has been very close to me and my family for many decades. Throughout the years, we have worked together, laughed together, and broken bread together. I am honored to be able to call him friend, Mr. Frank Ounce. Oz. Oz. Sorry. Oz. Definitely. <laughs> Frank Oz is an extremely deserving recipient of this Creative Achievement Award. What is the Creative Achievement Award? It is the award given to someone who has demonstrated multiple talents in the art of making people laugh. Some are writers, some are performers, some are directors, and some are producers. Frank Oz is none of these, but he was born in England, and that's good enough for me. For England has always been superior to America in so many, 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 many ways. The first, perhaps the most obvious, is that we speak English. <laughs> Secondly, when we organize a World Series, we invite other nations to participate. <laughs> Thirdly, and perhaps most important, is the fact that British subjects, when meeting with the leader of our country, have to go down on only one knee. <laughs> so it is truly my pleasure to honor my compatriot and dear fiend, Frank Oz. I first want to thank Johnny and uh, Alice Fay and Steve Martin for being here. And I'm amazed that I'm here being honored on the same night that the great and brilliant Jerry Lewis is being honored. And um, I, of course, want to thank George Schlatter and the American Comedy Awards for this honor. I lead three distinct lives. I feel I do. Wonderful lives. One is with the Muppets, the Jim Henson Company.
david laser jerry jewel don solving also some of my fellow muppet performers who do all the great characters and you don't know these people richard hunt jerry nelson dave goals steve whitmire kevin clash bill beretta also the actual workshop people and the writers and of course especially the henson family and then there's there's jim henson and without jim who gave me all the opportunities and support i could never have lived this wonderful life it was working with jim and learning from jim also that helped me make the transition into my second life which is directing movies and i love directing movies and i want to thank just a few people who've helped me in this life david o'connor michael wimmer joel bear bernie williams I thank them, but you might notice that I have not thanked the actors. And that is because without me, they are not funny. <laughs> now, let's just go down the list and see some of the actors. Steve Martin, without me, not funny. <laughs> Bill Murray, without me, not funny. Goldie Hawn, Kevin Klein, proven not funny without me. <laughs> Bob Newhart, obviously not funny without me. Johnny is still hanging around, hoping that my funny will rub off on him. <laughs> but neither of these lives, which I love so much, would mean as much to me if it wasn't for my third life. And that is a son, a brother, a father, and a husband. And I, I want to thank... I want to thank my mom and dad for bringing us to the United States and letting a skinny 19-year-old kid go to New York and work with a little weird group called the Muppets. I want to thank Ron and Sasa and Jenny and my fantastic children, Cody, Cooper, Woody, and Hadley. And lastly, the person I could not live without in any life, my wonderful and amazing wife, Robin. Thank you for this honor. This award enriches the lives I live and inspires me to explore new lives. Thank you very much.